Hello all, welcome to part two of Extend Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain the different widely used test automation reports in the market. As already mentioned in the previous session, test ng default generated reports are not much used in the market, okay, or in the real time. Rather, there are some other third party, okay, test automation reports that need to be integrated with our projects and are really used in the market and in real time. Okay, what are those third party reports I'm going to cover in this session. So what are these widely used test automation reports which are used in the market as part of Selenium automation or any type of framework or different type of automation. Okay, for any automation, uh, without without the reports, we cannot see the results, all the results uh, of that uh, test execution of that particular project in a single place, right? So coming to the reports, if you use default test engine reports, okay, they are not much used in the real time because of, uh, I already mentioned, right? There are uh, drawbacks, like they are not at once, they are not beautiful, they contain less content, they doesn't contain the analytical information and all those stuff. So what is the solution? Solution is nothing but this widely used test automation reports. Okay, these are third party reports guys that are available in the market, which are nothing but extent reports, allure reports, and there are many other. Okay, but this, this, these are the famous ones guys. Extent reports, allure reports are the famous ones. Extent reports is more famous. And uh, coming to the others, there are other type of reports also, but uh, this will be more than enough. Okay, if you are working on any Selenium automation or any, any other uh, type of automation, uh, mobile or any other automation with uh, Java or .NET programming languages, then you can go with extent reports without any problem, okay? So these are the third party reports, guys, okay? So what I mean by third party reports, okay? So here, if you set up test engine in the project, by default, test engine will get these reports, but uh, this extent reports or allure reports will not be generated either by automation tools like Selenium, APM, et cetera. They cannot generate these extent reports or allure reports. Neither this test engine framework can also, okay? cannot also generate this extent reports or allure reports, okay? So to get this extent reports or allure reports, we have to do a separate configuration. We have to download the separate third party libraries and set up in our in our projects. Then only we'll get these reports, okay? That's why I'm calling this as third party reports. And these are the reports which are widely used in the market, okay? So in the upcoming sessions, uh, I'm going to cover more about this extent reports, guys, okay? In this session, uh, th this series is all about extent reports, not about allure reports, okay? So I may create another uh, playlist for allure reports later, but uh, since it is a number one position, I I would like to focus more on the extent reports and I'll explain what exactly are the extent reports, uh, what's the official website of the extent reports. Okay, uh, I'll I'll sh I'll explain each and every component of this extent report. Okay, I'll show you an example of an extent report and uh, explain each and every component. And uh, there are free and paid versions and many other topics on the extent reports I'm going to cover in this playlist. Case for for now, these are the widely used uh, third party reports. Uh, in the market guys, okay, as part of our test automation results displaying, these are the widely used reports and default test engine reports are not much used or not used in real time. So hope guys, uh, you understood what are the different uh, widely used test automation reports that are available in the market and are used in the real time. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another extent reports topic for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.